got a story here that is not so happy. This is about Laura Ann Carlton, 66 years old, and she was a owner of a clothing shop called Mag.pi, and she got into an argument with somebody over her pride flag. This is in Lake Arrowhead in California. And this guy that Miss Ann Carlton got in a fight with because of her pride flag pulled out a pistol and shot her dead. The suspect then ran away. His name was Travis Iguchi, 27 years old from San Bernardino County, which is in Southern California. He was caught a few miles later by the police. He actually sh opened fire at the police, and then so the police shot and killed him. I am not one for police violence, but in this case, kind of got what he deserved. Apparently, he actually shot at the police first, and it's like, well, cops, were, cops will fucking kill you, so... Too bad, so sad. Maybe you shouldn't have killed that 66-year-old uh, woman, huh? Fucking piece of shit. So anyway, he's dead. I'm sure, however, that Miss Carlton's family is taking lots of solace in the fact that uh, their mother's uh, murderer has also been uh, dealt with like this. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that the mother of, of nine... That's who this this woman had nine children. That a mother of nine was ruthlessly gunned down over a pride flag. Which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's that this this is what happened. It, it was over a pride flag. An argument over a, pr a pride flag. It's not, it wasn't a life and death situation. The guy wasn't even trying to rob her or anything. It was nothing like that. She didn't do anything to anyone. This insane psychopath shot this woman dead because he didn't like her political speech. That's what pride flags are. Pride flags are pr political speech. Whether you like it or not, it's political now. And so she, because she had solidarity with a group of people that he didn't like, this man shot her dead. Apparently, before this, Miss Carlton had some problems with people vandalizing her flags, people taking her flags, stuff like that, and also would always just order new ones. In fact, according to her daughter, Miss Carlton had uh, Mrs. Carlton, excuse me, had some flags on order because people kept fucking taking them. That's just the normal, ordinary kind of regular abuse that the LGBTQ community has had to put up with for decades and decades and decades, you know, since the beginning of fucking time. It's really funny to say that because this woman was not part of the LGBT community. She was not gay. She wasn't bi. She wasn't a lesbian. She wasn't anything like that. She wasn't trans. She was a cis woman who was married and had nine children. So she was an ally. And that's what we should really remember, folks. Anti-LGBTQ violence is not confined to members of the LGBTQ community. It includes anyone who expresses solidarity with the LGBT community will also be subject, is potentially subject to the same kind of violence. Just having a pride flag displayed means that somebody at some point might decide to take issue and try to beat you up or hurt you or something like that just going to a pride event even if you're not gay even if you're not trans even if you're not a lesbian whatever just going to that event somebody might choose to fuck with you just hanging out in an area of town where lgbtq people hang out can subject you to violence I've told you this story before, but it bears repeating. I used to go when I was a teenager. Me and my brother would hang out sometimes in West Hollywood. West Hollywood is sort of like the gay area of Hollywood, where there's lots of like gay bars and stuff like that. And we'd go down there because I had a friend named Ernie who 
was obsessed with trying to get a lesbian girlfriend. Like, he wanted a bisexual girlfriend. But at the time, he didn't understand what bisexual was. <laughs> right? Because, <laughs> you know, we were kids and shit. So he would always go to, like... He'd go to, like, lesbian coffee houses and try to, like, hit on lesbians, and they would just shoot him down over and over and over again. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? But, you know, it was fun to hang out there, though. That's the thing. It's, it's a cool part of town, and there were clubs and stuff like that. And we'd go, and we'd hang out there, and people were cool and all that kind of thing, right? And the thing is, is that just walking down the street, guys would drive by and scream slurs out at you, calling you, you know calling you the F word and stuff. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on Twitch now, but you know what I'm saying, the F slur, right? That kind of thing. And they were just screaming at you. And it's like me and like, I'm with my brother for fuck's sake. And guys would just drive by screaming this stuff. And it's like, you know, the, the first time they do it, you, you laugh. You go, oh, that guy thinks we're gay or whatever. Ha ha ha, right? The 15th time it happens, you're ready to just beat somebody's ass. Like, I remember that. Like, I'm screaming back. Cars would drive by and call us fucking names. And I would scream out, fuck you, you know. Get out of your car, asshole. And then my brother would just be like, dude, what are you doing? Shut up. I'm like, fuck them, you know, like. <laughs> and it's like, damn. Because it's, and then you start thinking, it's like, well, Jesus. Like, actual gay people have to put up with this shit all the fucking time. <laughs> right? Like, like, you know, microaggressions and shit, like course back then i didn't know what a microaggression was like this is literally fucking 25 years ago but you get the idea and i can't even imagine it's like well god if i had to put up with this shit on a daily basis like fuck that i'd probably get my ass kicked a lot because i'd fucking be talking back to people <laughs> right and that's the thing it's like that just kind of goes to show it's it's you don't even have to be gay you just have to look like you're gay or you don't even have to look like a gay you just have to be in the same general area as gay people you just have to be at an event where gay and trans and lesbian people are something like that right i guess at this point all you have to do is have like i don't know a trans sticker like a or a pride sticker on your car or something and people will fuck with you and so it's something to remember it's it's not confined to just gay and trans and lesbian people it's it's anybody who dares to have the audacity to stand in solidarity with them is also subject to violence. Potentially subject to violence, right? And that's where we are in this country. It's where we are in this country. We're a 66-year-old woman who owns a store and has a flag outside of her store is now dead. What kind of fucked up country do are we in when somebody thinks that they, they're morally obligated to murder someone because of a flag they have. Because as I'm sure you figured out, this guy, Travis, was exactly the kind of person you think he is. Insane, conservative, Christian asshole. Here's an article that I want to show to you guys here. Let's open this up. Man who killed store owner over pride flag had history of anti-LGBTQ, anti-police social media posts. Hmm. A tweet pinned to the top of the Twitter X account. I like how they say Twitter X. They, don't, they can't just say X because nobody knows what the fuck X means. Twitter X account in Travis's Iguchi's name showed a rainbow flag in flames with the words, What, do, what to do with the LGBTQ flag? Here's the memorial... This is the guy's uh, post here. Apparently this guy, I'm not going to read too much. We'll skip around the article. Apparently this guy, Travis Aguchi, had accounts on Twitter where he would post anti-gay, anti, uh, anti-LGBTQ stuff, as well as Gab, which Gab is basically Nazi Twitter, which I don't know why you need to go to Gab anymore since you can just be a Nazi on Twitter now. But Gab is like where all the people are who are too fucking toxic for even Twitter like, go to post their bullshit, post their, like, straight-up fucking racist hate, and, like, Christian conservative fucking dominionist horseshit. Okay, here's another one. Travis Aguchi, abortion and same-sex marriage are both immoral and are designed to destroy humanity. Designed in the present tense. He didn't say designed, ED, but 
designed to destroy humanity one by one. So if someone is pro-abortion and pro-LGBTQ, P, they're at war against the foundation of family values. Travis Iguchi, he quoted himself. That's the thing. First thing, okay. First thing I want to mention here is the P at the end of LGBTQ. What does the P mean? P is there, of course, for pedophilia, which is bullshit. Nobody has made that a... Like, that's 100% conservative, ridiculous, Christian bullshit. There is no P on the end of LGBTQ, right? The people in the LGBTQ community have resoundingly rejected pedophiles and pedophilia. It is the conservatives and the Christians who smear the LGBTQ community with that. Trying to say, you're trying to, you know, groom our kids and shit. So, that's the first little dog whistle there. That this guy is like a fucking insane conservative wackaloon. The second, like, I really like here, though, how he quotes himself. Like, first off, it's a tweet, you fucking idiot. So you don't have to quote your fucking self, because we know you're saying it. Because you wrote it in a goddamn tweet. But he, like, quote himself, like, he thought so highly of this tweet here that he quoted himself. Like, I came up with this. The fucking hubris of these morons. <laughs> right? Like, that's how, like, that's how full of it and full of themselves and how far their heads are up their own fucking asses is that they think that they're so goddamn pointed and intelligent. And it's like, yeah, man, you've really got, like, your fucking... You've really got your finger on the fucking pulse of, like, America here with this ridiculous, dumbass fucking piece-of-shit bigoted post. I'm glad the motherfucker's dead. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it. I'm glad they shot him. I'm glad he's dead, because fuck him. He deserved it. He just murdered that woman because he couldn't just... You know, you know what you do, folks, when you see... Like, let's say I went to a store, right? Say I went to a comic book shop. And outside the comic book shop, the owner went and hung a Nazi flag. What would I do? Would I steal the flag? Yeah, maybe. Would I bitch the guy out? Yeah, maybe. But you know what I really would do? Not shop at that store. That's what I would do. I would not shop at that store. I'd probably take a picture of it, post it on social media or whatever. Maybe say, hey, everybody, don't shop at the store. That, but that's what I would do. I would just not shop at the store, first and foremost in addition to talking shit about it or whatever, right? Because that's what you do when you see a place that you don't want to shop at for whatever reason. Just don't fucking shop there. But I, I mean, does that mean you vandalize the fucking store? No. Would I steal the guy's flag? Maybe. I don't know if I was pissed off enough, but probably not. Would I go yell at the fucking guy? Yeah, maybe, right? But would I shoot him to death? No. I wouldn't shoot him to death. And then I would not shop there, and then I would never shop there ever a fucking again. And if I ever saw the guy anywhere, I would never talk to him. I would completely ostracize him from myself. Because I don't associate with fucking Nazis. That's what I would do. That's what you're supposed to do. Right? You're not supposed to just go murder somebody because you don't like what their speech is. <laughs> Why do these assholes think it's okay to use violence. Like, who put that idea in their head? That it's okay for them to just go kill people if you don't like what they gotta say. Do you know who did it? you know who put that idea in their heads? Christians. Conservative Christian pastors. Conservative Christian pundits. Assholes like fucking Mike Cernovich and uh, Sean Hannity, right? and Nick Fuentes, and all of these asshole-talking heads who make money off of rage, off of inducing rage in their followers, all of the Christian pastors that use politics from their pulpits there to get people coming back, that's where they got these ideas from. You know, hate is a learned behavior, right? You know, you, nobody is just born hating people. Unbelievable. Next one. Travis Iguchi. There will come a time that we will have to do this. When you should shoot a cop. Apparently this guy was also the son of a cop. So apparently he really didn't like police. So much saying that he may have to shoot them. 
That's the kind of guy this is. Another one of him burning a rainbow flag. This is January 22nd, 2021. We need to stop compromising on this LGBT dictatorship. I guess he forgot the P in that one, right? And not let them take over our lives! Exclamation point. Stop accepting this abomination that the government is forcing us to submit to. Forcing, folks. Literally, the government is coming and putting a gun to your head and forcing you to submit to these mentally disordered tyrants. True followers of Christ should not and never tolerate this stupid indoctrination of LGBT agenda in marriage or in our own business, especially to any form of mental and personality disorders like narcissism. Goddamn, dude, run on sentence for fuck's sake. Sorry, it's a little hard to read because the guy's, like, grammar is all fucked up. Words that should be, like, plural are not, and he's forgetting, you know... He's forgetting words like the and stuff like that. And then it's like this whole big ass thing is like two sentences. Like, God, dude, break your shit up into like small. Don't have run on sentences for fuck's sake. Anyway, moving on. So anybody on Gab would have the courage to post this photo on their Gab page or Twitter. Who has the courage to post this and feel no shame of it? Don't be a coward. Stand up, coward. I like women, not men. I like that really gets me at the end. I like women like not men. Like, you know, first off, being tolerant of people who have opposing viewpoints of yourself does not mean that you have to adapt the opposing viewpoint viewpoint that you're tolerant of. Okay. Case in point, being tolerant of people of other religions, that is to say, not being an asshole to them, not doing anything that actively oppresses them or fucks them up. That's what tolerance is. Tolerance means you let somebody else live in peace who is different than you. You let them live in peace. You don't try to do anything to oppress them, to ruin their day, to drive them out. doesn't mean that you have to be best friends or, you, or anything like that, but you just let them be. That's tolerance, right? It doesn't mean that you have to adopt exactly everything about them. So being tolerant of someone, let's say, for example, someone who's different religion than you, doesn't mean you have to believe in their religion. It means that you peacefully coexist. Being tolerant of someone with a different sexual orientation than you doesn't mean that you have to adopt their orientation, their sexual orientation. It means that you peacefully exist with them. Okay, so whenever you see this thing where they say shit like this, forcing us to submit to these mentally disordered tyrants, nobody's forcing you to submit to anyone, right? You hear this a lot from conservatives. Oh, they shove it down our throats. What do they? What the fuck does that even mean? You know, they, they force us to accept it. No, you're not being forced to accept anything, right? A law that says that you're not allowed to commit hate crimes, that you're not allowed to discriminate, that's what they mean when they say forced down our throats. Forcing us to submit. Is that they're not allowed to just be openly bigoted and hateful and discriminate. It's like, yes, you're not allowed to anymore. The law says you're not allowed to discriminate. Not when it comes to hiring. Not when it comes to giving out services. You're not allowed to refuse people from your business based on their sexual orientation, all that. That's what discrimination is, right? That's bigotry. You're not allowed to do that. Not in a professional, in the professional sphere right? That's against the law. Equal protection. Religion and just like religion, rather, your sexual orientation is a protected class. So yes, but you being forced to not discriminate does not mean that you are being forced to submit. That's what these people don't understand, okay? You don't have to be gay to tolerate gay people. You just have to coexist peacefully, doesn't make you fucking gay. So when he says, I like women and not men, it's like, yes, no one is trying to turn you gay. The government's not coming and passing a law saying everybody's gay now. No, that's not how this fucking works. And that's that fundamental thing that I know these motherfuckers understand this. I know they understand it. They're lying about it on purpose. Right? This guy understands what tolerance actually means. He understands what it really means to peacefully coexist with somebody. He's twisting it around on purpose because he's a piece of shit. And that's what we need to remember. There's no greater motive to any of this stuff. These people are just pieces of shit. 
Right. Don't try to think of, don't try to rationalize it. Like, people on the left try to rationalize shit too much. Like, oh, maybe it was because of the way they were raised, or maybe it's their culture stems from a from hundred years of this or that, or being exploited. No, 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 no. Fuck all of that. Doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, okay, it's interesting to think of that shit, right? And maybe you might find some greater truth. But ultimately, it doesn't fucking matter. What matters is how you treat people doesn't matter how this guy got the way he is. What matters is that he shot someone to death because of a flag. And what really gets me is that, you know, here, this part, he was a Christian. The followers of Christ should never and should not and ever tolerate the stupid followers of Christ. Like, do you really think that if, like, this guy really believes that Jesus Christ was giving him permission to kill this woman, that's what he th I mean th that's that's what really gets me about this is that current conservative Christian evangelicals are the exact opposite of what a Christian should actually be. You know, the Bible is not about murdering people that you don't agree with. It, nowhere in there does it say that. Not you know the teachings of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ doesn't say go kill people. Well, all right, one exception. Jesus says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So yeah, maybe Jesus isn't 100% spotless in that regard. But generally, what does Jesus say? What's the, what's the Sermon on the Mount say, right? Love your brother. Forgive your enemies. Forgive those who trespass against us. You are commanded as a Christian to turn the other cheek. You're not supposed, when someone comes and hits you, you're not supposed to fight back. Someone steals from you. You're supposed to give them more. You're supposed to feed poor people. Feed the hungry. House the homeless. When immigrants come to your country, you're supposed to help them. That's what the goddamn Bible says. That's what Jesus Christ says. Do modern conservative Christians... Let's turn this fucking thing off. Okay. I'm sick of looking at this shit. Do modern Christians follow that in any way whatsoever? No. Not at all. Modern day conservative evangelical Christianity is the exact opposite of what Christians should be. Right? And I'm not even going to say what they were, what Christians were in the past, because to be honest, there really never was any Christian denomination, any Christian sect that lived by those actual words that are said in the Bible. None of them. Not the Catholic Church, not the not the Evangelicals, not the Church of England, you know, not the Jehovah's Witnesses, none of them. Nobody does. Nobody actually, if you actually listen to what the Bible says, the Bible says if you're rich, get rid of all your money, right? It says treat people with respect. It says you're not supposed to go to church. <laughs> that's what it says. That's what Jesus Christ himself personally says, do not go to church. He says, the people that go to church and make a big me a big show of their faith are phonies. And you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to worship in private. It literally says that in the Bible. You're supposed to worship in private and in small groups. No one is supposed to be in charge. <laughs> right? Property is supposed to be owned communally. These are all things in the goddamn Bible. These are all things in the Bible, in the Christian Holy Bible that says, right? It's the exact opposite of what Christianity is today. <laughs> That's what really gets me about all this, is that these fucking people who are out there murdering the LGBTQ people, beating them up, taking away their rights are doing it under the pretext of a religion that says the exact opposite of what they do. I kind of hope there is a God, you know? I know that on the inside there isn't. I know that there isn't not the not the conservative Christian evangelical conception of a God that is not vast sort of cosmic entity that created everything and knows everything and is completely good and all this other shit. I, that, that doesn't exist. It doesn't. But I kind of hope there is. I kind of hope I, when I die, I'm proved wrong. Because that means all of these fucking people are going to hell. <laughs> 
if God is real, if Christianity is true, every single one of these people are going to hell. All of them. Pat Robinson, Jerry Farwell, every single, you know, Matt Gates, all the politicians, Marjorie Taylor Greene, all of them. This piece of shit who just got killed, this guy fucking Travis Gucci, he's dead. Fuck him, he's gone. He's going to hell too. Trent Locke, I mean, the fucking dinosaur guy. You know, what's the what's the rip-off dinosaur dude? Fucking the guy that owns like the fucking Noah's Ark amusement park, whatever the fuck his name is. All those motherfuckers. Every single one of them is going to hell. If God is real. So, for their sake, I hope he isn't. Anyway, everybody... R.I.P. Uh, Laura Ann Carlton, you uh, didn't deserve this. Wish the best for her family. What are you going to do, folks? The world is fucked up. Hello, folks. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, please consider buying something from my SD shop, supporting me on Patreon, liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much, and see you next time.